Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos and welcome to another episode of the SSRT uh, Space Station subscriber build. Now, before we put another one up there, we need to do some uh, we need to do some orbital maneuvers with the station. As you can see, well as you saw in the last one, it's kind of wonky. So we're going to go ahead and put some more fuel into this thing, add another tow vehicle, and hopefully this will be enough to get it um, lined up properly. Damn, it's like flying with a dead elephant on your back. I'll burn it to the ground. We got it into a, into an okay-ish orbit. It's a hell of a lot better than what it was. We almost made it to the other side, but now we have to worry about landing in the complete darkness. Oh, 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 shit. Uh, uh, what's our altitude terrain 1000? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my, oh my god, oh crap, oh, 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 fuck. Okay, now let's go ahead and check out, this is, we've been actually been getting a lot of uh, subs, uh, subscriber uh, uh, files, that's pretty cool, we got, looks like we got escape pods, oh shit, tiny tug, for those hard to reach places, tiny tug, tiny tug Tim, that is, that's got cracking written all over it. Wow, that's a lot of ports. Uh, I don't think it's meant to come back down to Kerbin. I think maybe you just put these here to cover up the insides. So we're going to head clean that up. Maybe it needs a little bit bigger one, but that will that'll do for now. Same thing with this. Going to bring it down just a little bit more. And, man, there's just a lot going on with these arms. How am I going to fit this in the cargo without it clipping into each other? See, right here, it's it's... It doesn't look like it, but it is actually, it's just, it's so close that I don't think it'd be able to exit out of the thing. Bring them, oh my gosh. Dear Lord. Ah. Uh, what are these tanks doing here? I don't see any RCS whatsoever on this, on this. I don't think we need these tanks. So I do apologize if that messes with the with the the look that you were going for but we really don't need those RCS tanks so we can save some space and we're gonna take this and bring it up like so okay so it's not really it's not touching anything and it is it's touching the floor of the craft oh, fuck me. all right we're gonna have to do this we're gonna have to take these off <laughs> I'm sorry man I'm uh, this is off, this is going off, this is coming off. <laughs> but we're gonna have to take these off, buddy. I am so sorry. We're gonna have to take them all off. So they're not interrupting with, oh my gosh, what is this? What's going on here? Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Oh. Hurtalizer, her, her, congratulations. You have, you have uh, successfully made me go bananas. I am so, so sorry. We're gonna have to take these off completely in order for this to work. Man, I feel bad. I, I feel so bad. I feel so bad that you can have your, uh, <laughs> you can have, you can have your monopropellant tanks back. <laughs> there you go. See? Okay. Veos cares. I'm sorry if you, uh, fertilizer, if you hate my guts right now. I am so sorry. It, it it's okay. You, you, you can hate as much as you want. It's okay. I really just completely brutally butchered your design in order to save part count and to have it fit. Somebody said something in the comments that I could change the fuel flow or something of that nature. Is this what you're talking about? All these weird buttons that I've never touched because I was scared of them? What's rigid attachments mean? Auto strut? What's fuel delivery? Oh my gosh. It's alive. Look at that. It has nervous system. This is its nervous system. Wow. I don't. I, I don't even know how to read this. I'm making this up out of my ass as I'm doing this. Control from here again. Where's Where's the station? Where's the teeny tiny little itty bitty one? It's the baby. And... And... Kabushki. Looking good. Hey, this is actually kind of coming together now. Oh, easy, easy. And... 
All right, awesome. Okay, well, anyway, so this is all I have. Uh, this is all the time I have for now. Unfortunately, it's been about two hours, and I have to shrink this all into five minutes. And then if we get Izzy's little uh, array, solar array, it's going to come out here to about here, and it's going to open up. It's actually going to look really nice. I uh, got this kind of escape pod, multi-docking for service crafts. All right, so that's the one that's going to be next. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Signing off.